Well, hi stampers, this is Cheryl from stardust.stampinup.net and here's a fun little project I wanted to share with you today. Just something really simple. Um, part of my Valentine countdown that I do with my kids. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a video and show, share with you. It is made from the fun little curvy keepsake thinlet die and it looks like this and it comes with these fun little tags. Of course you need the big shot to use this. I'll go ahead and move my little box out of the way here. Um, I went ahead and cut out um, the paper already in real red. You need two of these so you'll have to run it through two times so that you get both of your you know, pieces of paper. So we'll go ahead and do a little bit of stamping on here. Really simple stamping for this. I went ahead and used the real red, I mean it's real red. You could, you know, use black or whatever color you'd like, or even white would look really nice on here. The stamp set that I am using today is You Plus Me, and this is available in the Occasions catalog. And I'm just going to use this cute little arrow stamp down here, or heart, arrow through the heart. There we go. If I can get this open, there we go. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and stamp some random little hearts on here. And being, you know, this is going to be folded up, I want to make sure that they all are, you know, my, I guess the top of our little box are pointing up instead of, you know, stamping like this way. You can do that if you like, but for me, I'm not going to. And I can hear my kids upstairs. They are just having a blast. Sounds like jumping off the couch because mom is downstairs making videos. <laughs> so hopefully it's not too noisy on the camera. <laughs> oh, they are having too much fun. The weather's finally starting to get nice here in Montana. And well, nice as at least it's not below zero. So. <laughs> They're, they're just excited that they can go outside and have fun and so I told them as soon as we are done we are or as soon as I'm done with the videos we are gonna go outside and play in the snow so they're pretty excited so what I just did is I just folded on my little score marks there that are um, made with the little die itself and then I absolutely love the fast fuse you can use let me see here. You can use your sticky strip. This works wonderfully too. I just like the fast fuse because it is so nice and quick. You just stick a little bit on here and you jerk quickly away, you know, to your right or left, whichever direction. And then you just vice versa basically um, stick these on here. And that's it. That's how easy and fun that is. And then I've noticed um, an easy way for me to get the curve in it is just to put your bone folder or something, you know, like a bone folder, maybe even a ruler if you don't have a bone folder, and just pull your paper, you know, kind of trap your paper and then pull it away so it gets that nice little, you know, curve in there. Sometimes you know, you could also go like this, but I always end up getting so much ink like that on my fingers, and then I end up on getting it on my projects. So, so now you can fill your little keepsake curvy box with um, Hershey's Kisses or, um, oh my goodness, all kinds of little candy treats, whatever you would like to stick in here. Let's see, the next item that I'm going to go ahead and use are the beady banners and I already punched them out. I'm not sure if it will work or not for me to do it without running it out or running it through the big shot, but this is the size that I use, the largest one. So we'll give it a whirl here. I always like to do it ahead of time because it, it makes the video a little bit shorter, you know, but um, I will go ahead and show you what 
I did, and then if we need to, I will run it through the big shot. It'll just make our video longer. <laughs> okay, I went ahead and used the um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I really like this ink. It is just really nice. Let's see here, and then I use the B Mine, and this stamp is also available in the the same set. This is, I mean, from the same set, I should say. <laughs> okay, now I think before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and try and see if I can stamp this. Let's see. I'll just use a scratch paper here. Oh yeah, there we go. That worked. I just have to get down, scoot down out of my chair for a second there. So, all right. Well, we will just use this one then. But I will show you how you do this. Of course, it's gonna you're you're gonna lose your hearts, but that's okay. You just stick it, stick your framework right on top of here. And I use the boy. My plates are very well used. I use the magnetic platform and it just keeps your your little framelit right where you need it and then go ahead and sandwich that and then run it through your big shot and then you can have this of course I actually did this after I punched it out so you can always you know if your kids are bored have them you know punch out a bunch of your little banners and then you will have them on hand okay what I went ahead and did is use the sweetheart heart punch and punched out some just some um, glimmer paper silver glimmer paper I also you know I, I used some of the red because I made a couple other ones here um, and I, but I wasn't sure if I liked the red on red. I mean, if you like the red on red, that's great. You go ahead and use that color. But I, I did pink. Well, it's not pink. It's strawberry slush. And Blackberry Bliss for my girls. And then, of course, my boys now are going to have the real red here. So then I just put these two together. And... With my paper punch, I'll just punch a hole and use some white baker's twine. Boy, the kids are sure having fun upstairs. I can hear them. It's just comical. <laughs> they are desperately waiting for me to finish my video here. Alrighty. The fun part is they don't know that this is for them, so that's even that's even better. <laughs> kind of like Christmas all over again. Okay. Oops. I kind of frayed that ends, but that's okay. We'll just trim it off. There. And there you have it. That's it. These are so quick and simple. You know, you could even make them for. Um, your kids' class, you know, to hand out little treats or for co-workers, you know. But this is the project I have to share with you today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you check out my blog at stardaststamper.blogspot.com or you can also follow me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com stardaststamper. Thank you and have a great day.